what is going on guys today i am back with another destiny 2 video and today i want to talk about the exo stranger and if she will make an appearance within destiny 2 but before we go any further people i am giving away this resurrectionist emblem to enter simply drop a like and leave a comment details are on screen now Okay, so the Exo Stranger, one of the biggest mysteries within Destiny 1. Who is she? Where is she from? Who is she talking to when referring to us as being here from that cutscene? Questions many, many people want answers to. But before we discuss that, let's check out all instances we see her within Destiny 1. Okay, so we first bear witness to her at the start of the Dark Beyond mission on the moon. No words are spoken here, we just see her in the distance, watching our every move. Check it out. There's nothing left. Not even the light. Where's his ghost? want to move back. The first time we hear her talk is within the Chamber of Night Mission on the Moon, although she doesn't make an appearance here. See for yourselves. You're interesting. Not entirely interesting, but you have promise. Who is that? I don't know. I'm losing the signal. Guardian, I know what you're about to do. It's brave. But there are enemies out here you would not believe. Out where? Go down and face the hive. And if you live, come find me. Signal dropped. I got some broken coordinates. Venus, Northern Hemisphere. Ishtar region. Great. After she tells us to face the hive and if we live, we should go find her. Our next encounter is on Venus upon the mission, A Stranger's Call. Here we have a true encounter, talking about how the Vex brought us to where we are, how she is not a guardian forged in light. She tells us to seek out the Black Garden. When we ask for her help, she states she can't, as her path is her own. But the biggest mystery within this cutscene is, who the hell is she talking to when stating them to kill the engine and don't let them find you? Watch the cutscene here for yourselves. Well fought. You're here. We haven't got much time. Who are you? Why have you been watching us? I don't even have time to explain why I don't have time to explain. I will. I will. I know. Will what? I wasn't talking to you, little light. I'm a ghost, actually. Many guardians fell. Strong ones. But you made it here. Yes, I'm listening. They are here. With me. Who's she talking to? Understood. You need my help, Guardian. Is that why you brought us here? They brought us here. The Vex. Evil so dark it despises other evil. You're not a Guardian. No. I was not forged in light. But I believe where our paths cross, ground could break. Have you heard of the Black Garden? We've heard the legends. The greatest threat to us all lies there, where these machines are born. 
find the Black Garden. Rip out its heart. Only then will your traveler begin to heal. Can you help us find it? My path's my own. I can't. If we're going to find the Black Garden, we need to see the Awoken. Ah, yes. The Awoken. Out there wavering between the light and the dark. A side should always be taken, little light. Even if it's the wrong side. Too late returning. How many? Hold position, kill the engines, and don't let them find you. So, how do we find the Awoken? Now the last time we see her within the game is when we complete the original story of killing the Black Heart within the Black Garden, where she rewards us with the stranger's rifle. For centuries we feared the forces of darkness massing against us. We sought to hide and cower beneath a broken god. No more. These guardians show us what we are, what we have always been, and what we will be again. We are what remains of the light, and we will not be stamped out. It's a day for pretty speeches and medals, but we know the real fight takes place out there. Take this. There's so much more, Guardian. I've seen terrible things born out in the darkness. Every moment brings them closer. All ends are beginnings. Our fight is far from over. And people, that is it. Nothing else has come about of her since. Now many, many people await answers regarding her. So will we get those answers within Destiny 2? Well, this is what Luke Smith, the director of Destiny 2, had to say when asked about the Destiny 1 core story and the Exile Stranger. PC Gamer asks, Goal seems like a cool new big bad to introduce in the game the same way Oryx rocked up the Taken King and provided the main antagonist. But are we going to learn more about the core story introduced in Destiny 1? Who the speaker is and where he comes from? What the darkness is? Are we going to hear from the Exo Stranger? Are those kind of questions going to be answered within Destiny 2? This is what Luke Smith said. Not specifically all of those questions. I think some of those questions we've taken off the shelf to look at and some of those questions we're leaving on the shelf and may never answer. Personally, I think of Destiny 1 as sort of a zero issue in a comic book series. It's about introducing the universe and some characters in it and some statements. But I think we want to and a bunch of those statements were questions. I don't know that we'll answer all of those statements from the first game and we aren't going to attempt to in Destiny 2 either. We're telling a story here with some momentum and I think it's going to show direction and progress for where the arc of Destiny is going to go. And that arc is, for us, really beginning with Game 2. PC Gamer went on to say, Is there a world in which we never find out who the Exo Stranger was talking to on the phone? Luke Smith then goes on to say, Yeah, I mean, there's a world where you never find out anything about the Exo Stranger. And there's a world where the Exo Stranger is the star of. PC Gamer caught in and say, Destiny 3. Luke Smith then laughs and say, Yeah. There's a world where the Exo Stranger has a cartoon or a comic book series or whatever. With Destiny, we have so many cool opportunities to tell stories in and out of the game. And we have a bunch of characters who are interesting. But the Exo Stranger is one that always made me chuckle a little bit. Because I feel that's one character where we actually wrapped up the arc. She gave you a sweet gun and then dissolved. Presumably off to do something else. So I feel like of all characters we've introduced and exited, we actually exited her effectively. But she always comes up. She always comes up. 
And that's basically all he said. He's basically confirming it's a wrap when it comes to the Exo Stranger. The problem is there are still many unanswered questions surrounding her. It's a true shame that if they do plan on leaving her in the past, we will never learn the true lore of the Exo Stranger. And it kind of pisses me off a little. Not only for the fact of them not answering their fans' questions, the questions of their consumers, the people who carry their game, but the fact that if they can do this and leave this along with many other things we want to know about unanswered, what does this tell you about the future story introduced to the game? New characters we learn of? It goes to wonder, do they really have us in mind when building this game? This fan base should be their number one drive, even before money. If they manage to satisfy us as a fan base, it builds better relations and better future content for their game. For sure it's not a major deal to some people, but for the many, leaving these questions unanswered is bad for business. I mean they wouldn't even have to include the answers within the game. The lore outside of Destiny is where most of the story we know comes from and in my opinion still needs to come. Destiny started out as being a diverse, epic, massive scale reality where story was limitless. Story was diverse and deep, story drove most of us forward in the game, although most of it was missing in the finished product and came from the lore outside the game. The future at one stage for Destiny was interesting, thinking of what we could learn, what was to come. Now I don't know about you guys but 3 years later and a whole game in the works later, we are still waiting. On that note guys, I am ending the video, hope you enjoyed it, do hit that like button if you did, thanks for stopping by as always and I will see you on that next one. Always in the